Hello everyone, this is Onward Day 567 back in the episode of Flower Summer. Oh boy. It definitely feels like it, especially last week. This week feels much better. Much easier to work and get things done. You can tell by the way the episodes are coming out now. Yay. So without further ado, let's get started. The days tick by and the weekend arrives. The Harvest Festival that the twins have been looking so forward to begins. Just as we discussed at the tea party, the food will harvest sure enough includes corn and watermelon as the main features. Apparently we'll also be gathering eggplants, onions, and bell peppers. They'll then be served as accompaniments at tonight's barbecue. Melon, corn, eggplant, onion, bell pepper all the way down here. My other stuff too that we can't see and make out. Since the team is giving thanks for all our food and appreciating the value of life, I'm sure it's fine if there's some meat included in the meal. We'll look over at the sakis who are gathering eggplants and peppers. I wish I was over there too. <coughs> oh, is there a problem? The best way over here is my muttering, even under the burning rays of the summer sun. Her refreshing smile never falters. Oh, I know, I was just thinking how I can't wait to eat these veggies. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, let me redo that. I know, I was just thinking how I can't wait to eat these veggies. <laughs> I understand. I always look forward to the Harvest Festival, too. Of the corner of my eye, I can see her bashfully pressing her hand to her cheek. As I watch the laughing Sasaki sisters harvest eggplants using their brooding shears. Looks like they have it easier over there. Well, I got roped into a company, sit the best weight, and harvesting the corn. This is surprisingly hard work. To harvest the corn, you have to hold each ear up by the tassel and snap it off from the stalk. It takes a lot of strength. I end up really straining myself each time I attempt it. While well, Sister Basquade, who is much stronger than she looks, is breaking them off with ease. It's not once you get the hang of it. Oh no, it's not that one. Could you get the one to the side of it? She probably has to do this because we have a lot of upper body strength because we're always in a chair. We're using our upper body to move the chair. So, yeah. I don't think it's much of a problem for us, but... I can't just go collect them in order? There's a way to tell whether they're ripe or not. If the silks on the ear turn brown, they're ready to harvest. Eh? Uh, so that's how you tell. I nod and reach for the ear with the brown tassel. I can't snap it off without really putting all my strength into it, including my core muscles. Oh. <laughs> the huge ear cord comes off my hand with a satisfying crunch. I suppose this is kind of fun. You're doing a great job. He peers out the core of my hands, which I've been about to peel the husk from. Oh, slacking off, are we? No. I'm not, I'm going around to check that everyone's working. Good day, Sister Basquate. 
You know what they say about supervising, right? Right? Yeah. Here's the thing. Most people see that as either slacking off or making sure the others just do their stuff or I'm not doing anything, just making sure you're going around doing something. Send all your supervisor jokes below if you really wish. You good? Okay. I keep an eye on the two of them as I peel leaves from the corn cob. Oh dear, have the insects gotten to it? Some of the kernels are missing. I've been told it was ready to harvest, but here we are. Most of my looks is the best way. Flaps her hands around her cheeks, flushing. It's not something we can help. It hasn't been eaten by insects. It's the result of an unsuccessful fertilization. In short, could we have used some of these and made compost and used the compost to give back to the land to get better product? Isn't there something about that? I mean, wouldn't it be? You'd think we discovered at least compost by now. I mean, it makes sense, right? Uh -huh. Fertilization? So Saki will probably have something to say about that sounding naughty. However, while her cheeks are still red, Sister Basque points the corn in my hands with a serious expression. <coughs> Once the male tassel flower is in full bloom, we snap it off and dust the pollen directly onto the female ears to fertilize them. If this isn't done properly, the corn ends up with uneven and missing kernels, like the one Miss Yagaki has here. I see. Sometimes at home we get ones with uneven kernels. So it's because the fertilization process failed? President nods admiringly, her braid shaking. That's unexpected. Huh? What is? Oh, seems like your family be pretty well to do. I wouldn't have thought you'd ever touch corn that didn't have all its curls in the right place. I know about it because my grandmother had her own vegetable garden, so we'd often get corn from her in the summer. I'd always had this image of her as being even more of a proper young lady than Shirohane. This makes this all, but this all makes her seem slightly more accessible. Well, we don't want to waste it, so I'll just take this one as is. I pop into the basket. After all, it's not like it's inedible. <laughs> you really understand the true meaning of the Harvest Festival, don't you, Miss Yagaki? Actually, it really just that I'm the frugal short sort. I'm deeply reluctant to throw away anything that can still be eaten. Exactly. Trust me, if you can make leftovers out of what you have left, you'd be surprised how much you can cut off your food bill. Oh, look, this one should be perfectly ripe. 
You can only store a particularly large ear of corn. However, the beard like Tesla hasn't yet turned brown. It's still very green. We're fine here, so why don't you go check on the others? But I want to enjoy the Harvest Festival with you, Yagaki-san. The two of us can get this done easily. If you turn to check up on someone, then... Hmm. I look around at my classmates. She hasn't wanted to be around her recently. I spot Takasaki and Shirohane picking bell peppers nearby. They give off the impression that they're getting along like a house on fire, but... Huh? What is it? Why'd you go see Shirohane? Uh, uh, That's a gunshot. That's like a killing blow right there of a gunshot. She should be seeing her Amate partner. And that kind of just rang. She falters when she sees Takasaki working beside her. And we all know why. I know you're not good at dealing with her, but if you don't show your face, she may well up well end up stealing your ex-girlfriend. I thought we weren't going there, but I'll just get that for the background in case we don't find a better one. In case you guys didn't know, the last game, what ended up happening. Go watch the last game, that's a reference. <laughs> Ex-girlfriend? Honestly? Flushing crimson to the tips of her ears, she stares at me in Sister Basquade who is regarding us curiously. She feels agitatedly with her braids then... I'll just go check on them. She obediently heads over to Shirohane. It's not because she thinks she's in danger of having her Amate partner stolen. She's probably worried Takasaki's going to say something inconsiderate and hurt Shirohane again. I watched the president stride over to the two girls quite honestly. It worries me too. Let's continue harvesting them, shall we? I know this is the best way, but scratch my head, feeling somewhat gloomy about the dark clouds I sense hanging over Shirohane. Oh boy. The Bible itself mentions the Harvest Festival. So the best grade's voice sounds out over all the allotments once we finished harvesting all the vegetables. Exodus 23.16 says you shall keep the Feast of Harvest of the first fruits of your labor of what you sow in the field. It continues, you shall keep the feast of link of ingathering at the end of the year. You gather in front of the field the fruit of your labor. With the strong rays of the midday sun being down on her, she teases her sermon on the meaning of the harvest festival in a littling resonant voice. I'm impressed by the way she's able to stand there in the sunlight, dressing us with a single drop of perspiration marring her brow. She usually seems so empty-headed. 
What? What was that? I tell the Saki sisters who have taken up positions next to me to forget and listen to the sermon. And we all turn our eyes back to Sister Basquay. God promised the people wandering the desert that he would lead them to a land flowing with milk and honey. We buy you milk and honey. Oh, fuck. Please excuse me. The Lord ordered the Israelites to hold the festival in his name for, for providing that bounty. In spring, with the barley's harvest, we celebrate the first harvest of the season. Seeing her in a religious element and discussing a tangible topic, as we listening with great interest to a sermon that I would usually have dismissed as boring. <sighs> I'm starving. Can't argue with that. As wonderful as a lurid sermon from a beautiful woman may be, the scent of a freshly prepared corn is really taunting us. I still keep threatening to growl. And when the wandering tribe saw that the Lord had provided them with a great bounty in the promised land, they celebrated with a feast to demonstrate their gratitude to Him. I'm feeling plenty grateful to God for giving corn to this world. Amen. And watermelon, too. Amen. The Sasakis who have made sure to come on empty stomachs as they promised are watching Sister Best wait resentfully as their sermon drags on. And yet they did not thank for apples or strawberries, even though they're not vegetables. They are fruits, but still, it's a joke to their name. Everyone, please laugh. I almost let out a snore of laughter and whispered to them to stop. Still, while her spiel is appreciated, I do hope she wraps up soon. My stomach can't take much, much more of this. I can't stop my lips from curling up into a smile when Sister Basque finally enters her closing statement. <laughs> The Harvest Festival blesses not only us, but God himself. She continues with her apologue, but as someone who doesn't read religious books, I'm confused as to whether the concept she's talking about is allegorical or not. Then having finished, it's the best way to the students before her. Now then, let us receive the Lord's blessings. She announces the main event of the festival. The cutscene, which we're getting in the episode here. Yes, I was also waiting for that. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. See you then. Uh -oh.